Well, guys, I just finished my uh, first session, real session with the uh, with the GoFind 60, and I thought I'd give you a quick report on what I found. I, it's good. I can I can work with it. I can I can find targets. It 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 is not a top of the line in its performance, but I can hit targets and I can find those targets and and I find the classification on here is as good as any classification is. Uh, you know, you have the classification of the dollar sign, the two mid signals, and the low signal, which is the iron. All of that is all of that seems to work fine. Uh, it does not give you a feeling of stability when you swing it. It doesn't feel like it's going to break, but it is not. It is not a rock solid, extensible CTX3030 type of detector. It 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 does flex a little bit as you use it, and. Uh, and maybe it's because I'm a rookie at it that I could feel it a little bit, but I did not have the feeling of it being unreliable because the plastic it's made out of is, is pretty strong and it does flex a little bit, but it has to. And uh, what I do, what another thing I like about it is that it has a very swing, a very fast relative swing speed. I found uh, in when I was reading the documentation, it's like a two two three one to two section session sec, second swing speed so you can swing fast and I'm using it as a prospecting or as a scout machine going into areas and the main reason I'm getting it is I know it's my lab so I know it's going to do what it tells you it's going to do to one degree or another but I do like the fact it can fold up into this little thing I can just sort of walk in there like I'm carrying a book almost and go in there and begin to uh, detect not that I'm hiding anything, I just like to go in small when I initially go into an area until I'm confident of how the area is going to react and how and if it's really worth finding anything. So I did go out there, I did get a few finds, you'll see in the video I just posted, not my best cinematography, uh, but uh, but it was, uh, it was about as good as I could do with a handheld camera because I did take uh, two pairs of glasses, one of which my camera glasses, pivot heads, one of which the battery was down, the other one of which was already full. Stupid. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, I went out, I had the, I had the, uh, my normal, uh, I don't have a, uh, a rain cover of, of uh, a sandwich bag and a rubber band, and that's what I used uh, in the morning because I did run into a little bit of rain. So I did take it with me, so I did want to get a little bit of a honey in this week, since it's been a slow week otherwise. Uh, but uh, it it is uh, it's pretty good. Uh, I found that in with the classification scheme here, and I looked and saw it jumping from, from point to point, and that would fit in the 40s or the 60s, going from the dollar sign, which is a valuable coin, to the to the top mid range signal, which says ring. Uh, when it did that, it was um, virtually almost always a pull tab if it was solid rain, or it was, if it was jumping back and forth, it was a modern, a modern pull tab. So I, I found that pretty consistently. I did find out that when you hit a stable, you were likely to find something that was solid and coin-like. Uh, all the ones I found were coin. I didn't get a lot of uh, very... Uh, good signals out there but this this is a park that hasn't given me much at all yet so and I did not go at it in any new way looking for new targets I just hit the same old places because I wanted this to you know to, to stack up against the other machines I've used and even though it's not in the ballpark of price of some of those so uh, I really think it's a pretty good machine it'd be very good for young people at 20 to 40 or even the 60 it, uh, it does not have a great deal of coral coverage here it's unusual coil. I did find out when I pinpointed the pinpoint area tended to be right here in the middle, in the, right here in the uh, in the middle of the coil. So uh, that 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 was pretty handy. So I just want to tell you what little bit I found out already. I'll be taking this out again. Uh, possibly this is my this will be my Saturday tomorrow. But I'm going to be out doing yard work for my beloved uh, most of uh, tomorrow. Uh, so maybe Sunday I'll be able to get out, assuming that I, at either time we're not under tornado watches and thunderstorms, which might change everything. But I will be getting out with it some more and trying it some more. Like I said, I want this to be a good scout machine because I'll be using it in the very near future quite often as an intro. Uh, it's not like I'm going to, it's going to diminish the time I'm going to use my safari or 
my uh, dais or uh, the other machines. It's it's not it's not quite in their class and structure, but the performance was good. And you know, for a very short time in a very beat up area, I did get a few pieces here. I got a couple of quarters, a dime. I got a quiet quarter, a dime. Uh, and three copper pennies in a very, very short hunt in a very, very beaten area going over tracks I'd already gone over before in a very, very short time. I did not have very much time to detect today. So, that's all I've got to say for this. And I will, uh, uh, you know, I'll have more to say as I get more experience with it. I've got to run the standard battery of tests, put a few coins, put a few gold objects, and I'll be posting that as well. It's not that, uh, that I'm doing that just to gather, uh, to gather uh, hits or uh, but what I need is uh, I need to know exactly what the range of what I might be looking for and what it's doing so I'll, I'll do that as well in the very very near future but that's my first uh, look and my first little exposition on it so it's a it's a it's a B it's a B it's a B plus machine you know it really is and uh, uh, you know uh, I at least that's my opinion uh, which is more than sufficient to successfully detect. You're not going to find all the targets you're going to hit with the high end or 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 the mid range, but you're going to. But it's a good, solid, and it, and only time will tell whether or not it's reliable. All right, I will talk to you later, and you have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll be out there uh, detecting again very soon.